what is good youtube welcome back to the channel we are back with another darn man reaction now today this one is called my shocking story episode two she dated a hundred millionaires to find true love now if i'm not mistaken i think this was a shoddy that was a uh, in that you know 50 shades of gray type of darn man episode which is kind of creepy i'm gonna be real that was a little over sexualized but listen this is episode two if y'all new to the channel man hit that like button with a friend subscribe do it i guess because i appreciate all the love and support now let's go ahead, you know what I'm saying, and just enjoy this video. Get your food, get your popcorn, get your bags ready. I shout out to all y'all for the love. You're on the road to 4K soon, and uh, yeah. I'll do it. I'll go on a hundred dates in a month, and I'll marry one of them. Terrific. I am so glad you agreed with me. You're such a good girl. Well, I wasn't agreeing for my parents. All right, but only only time calling her good girls when you know what I'm saying. Shit. I was doing it for myself. My grandmother left me a massive inheritance. Why do you want to date a hundred millionaires, bro? Millions to start my own business. But she was a bit old fashioned and stated that I'd only get the money after I got married. I was ready to fulfill her wishes. All I wanted Damn, was bro, to start my what, own. what happened with literally just being happy with yourself and who you pick and not making it about money? Fuck, since, since, since you know, when did this get this bad, bro? Business and it's 2024. I got pretty bad a while ago. Let's be honest. How hard could it be to find true love? I've made a list of the top 100. Like fuck if he like has a good personality. Richest fuck all that. bachelors in the country. You will date all of them and choose your husband. He has to be a millionaire, or you won't get the money. Is that in the will? No, that is my condition. I will not have my daughter marry beneath our station just for this inheritance. I will only accept the most eligible man. For yeah, my I know daughter. how crazy that is, bro. I don't want a man who's gonna flake out on my baby. He has to provide for my girl. That is true, Sorry. but you don't need a millionaire for that, bro. Someone I don't like. I want to be in love. Of course, I'm sure we'll agree on one of the men on my list. Once you're married, you will get the inheritance money from our estate lawyers, and then you could do whatever you like. All right, mother. You Let's sure? Whatever it. I like. Are you I'll sure about that? Men. Amazing. So all your dates will take place in one restaurant. Why she looks so happy your for first her? First date is with an English duke. I was so naive. I really thought I could brute force the way to find love. I was sure this wasn't a stupid idea. If you really want to find love, like genuinely really want to find love, you gotta know me. If you haven't met me, you haven't found true love yet. Just being real. This was a stupid idea. My first date was with the handsome Duke Aaron. Like who Moon Knight. owned a chain of his own breweries. Mom was so uh, thrilled about him. And here he was playing the soccer match on his phone while he carefully explained all the rules of the game. The ball up to the forward and then going for a goal. I'm not really a soccer fan. It's not soccer. It's football. <laughs> Bro's a loser. My God, I wanted to run screaming and I couldn't. My manners had me frozen. Bro, you got a dime piece in front of you, bro. You're face. talking about Messi Luckily, retired from soccer. The when the waiter came. I'm gonna go use the toilet. All right. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, will there be anything else? Uh, perhaps a drink? No, nothing else. I'm tired of this guy taking my bitch because I know, I know that's what's gonna happen, bro. I'm tired of this guy, bro. Like, like to be honest, bro. Like, I'm sick of it, bro. Please. Please, I need the state to end. Ma'am, are you in danger? If yes, just blink twice. No, I'm fine. I'm I'm just on a terrible date. Why is his eye so glossy? Now, bro, we're smoking that ganja before this. Why don't you just leave? Because I have three more dates today. What? That's crazy. It's complicated. Okay. Um, I'll go get your check. It's okay. The next date will be better. I'm sure this was just bad luck. Except it wasn't. Some Bro, are you fucking listed. trolling? It just got worse and worse. All right, bro, that's, that's enough. Excuse me, Mr. Paxton. How old are you? Too fucking I'm about old. I'm twenty years older than you, so this is a bit awkward. A lot awkward. You could be my father. Your mother said she was setting me up with a lovely lady. I had no idea the woman would be the age of my son. That is really insane. <laughs> She'll get a good yelling for that. Well, let me know if I can be any use to you. Maybe set you up with my son. Bro, fuck off. I'm making it weird now. Leave. 
the door. Please. Flip, sorry to bother you, but your Porsche is actually being towed. What? Uh, what on earth? What happened to his car? Oh, it's fine. I just wanted to help you escape granddad over there. <laughs> um, there's some extra drinks in the back if you care to join me. Man, go fuck yourself, bro. I'm sick of you, dog, bro. Go, go fuck yourself, man. Go do something else, bro. Stop worrying about my girl, bro. Real talk. Here we are. Thank you for saving me. My mom set me up with this old guy. Like, bro, there are cans she of tomato behind me. your head right now, bro. Think your about mother that. Your these blind dates. All right, let me stop. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Excuse oh, me? shit. Oh. It is pretty fucking dumb, though. No, it's a good strategy. I mean, it's I not. think I'll find someone by the process of elimination. Love isn't a science experiment. All right, your strategy is a little weird. I have to do this. You wouldn't understand. Very well. Let's hope one of your next dates is husband material then. He wasn't. I'm right here. It was official. Each person my mother had shortlisted was a lunatic. Got a hippie. I mean, he got bread like though. This. I'd go nuts. I needed a better strategy. Henry, you're a good waiter. Clever and observant. And I think I've tipped you generously and I've been a good patron. Okay. Where are you getting that? Clock out in like 30 minutes. What are you trying to say? What you want? Well, if I have to go on 100 dates, I'm going to need to keep my sanity. So I'm thinking that you could help me. And if I go like this, you'll come out and you can tell people that their car is getting towed or maybe their house is on fire, or their boat's sinking. Or, I don't know. Something. Mm. Right, right. Um, or why don't you just leave? Impossible. These guys are filthy rich. I don't want to offend them. Yeah, right. Only no offend them? Are you serious, bro? Please help me. Please. That's insanity. Okay, why are you doing this? This is so excessive for a beautiful girl like Appreciate you. Appreciate it. You don't have to try this hard. Watch your mouth, though. You think I'm beautiful? <gasps> Just answer the question, please. <laughs> I quickly explained my situation to Henry, who seemed baffled and a little concerned. Spider-Man has dialogue, I man. Is this worth getting married over? I mean, how big can your inheritance be? I mean, she's worth millions. Millions? Like, like, like how many millions? Like, like, like double digits millions or like, you know what? <clears throat> Sorry. Don't answer that. That's personal. But yes, you need to get this inheritance for sure. Yeah. yeah, that's why I have to get married. My grandmother literally put it in the will. That's why I have to go on all these dates. I mean, and hey, I mean, if, if it doesn't work out, then you could just divorce them and you'll still be rich. Exactly. This is true. So you'll help me? I'll even pay you for your time. All no, right. I got to hit first. Deal. Deal. Huh? Yeah, this is just a dumbass plan in general, I'm not gonna lie. I continued to go on dates. As bad as they were somehow amongst all this craziness. I'd make hey, what you mean? I'm Henry's grubbing. There for me whenever things got that shit look good. He'd quickly make an excuse and he fucking that shit up for real. I'd go to the kitchen in a corner and hang out with him. Except Henry was super overworked. That's how so I am he often right now. didn't get time Chilling. to eat himself. He was the waiter, he helped people arrange schedules, and he was also helping with the food. Look at this he loser, was doing bro. Everything. Look at this loser working. Hey, I uh, I thought you were a waiter. I didn't know you were a chef too. Um, I'm actually a really good cook. My mom taught me. So I help out here and there. He fixes most of our recipes. He just has an act for taste. Here, taste this. Cold. That's amazing. Did you Cap. know that? She's capping. Yeah, my mom's version was better, but she's she's such a bad capper. Why are you a waiter? You should be a chef. Well, I don't have enough money for a culinary degree, and no one's gonna hire me as a chef without one. So, but I make enough money here through tips, so it's fine. It didn't seem fine. Henry was so talented, and he worked hard, sometimes late into Bruh. the night. But the owner of this restaurant. And I'm extremely stressed. You know, so very stressed. I could use some help. I didn't care one bit. He was happy paying Henry a low salary and keeping him a waiter while using him to run his kitchen. You need to say something to him. 
You work way too hard. Look, I know it may look hard, but I don't mind taking the harder path. Besides, my boss is a super jerk, so there's no point in saying anything. No, I'll just drop kick uh, him. I have some tables. I'll be back, okay? I tried to bring it up again, but he just didn't want to confront it. So the next time I saw his boss guzzling down one of his dishes while being ungrateful, I did it myself. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Debbie girl. Excuse me. If you're going to have Henry taste test and fix all the dishes, shouldn't you make him a chef? Oh, shit. Who is this? Someone who wants to keep me in trouble, Victoria. I'm just saying, he does so much more than waiting tables, and you know that. You should give him a promotion. I run my restaurant. Bro. I don't want, lady. Stay out of it. Can you at least hear me out? It might be better for you to invest in Henry. In a little runt with no name and no degree? Oh, He's man. lucky I even give him a job. Thank yeah, God. I'm not gonna lie. If you're saying that shit in front of me, bro, I'm grabbing you by your vest, your suit, and I'm pulling you over the table, and I'm just going stupid on your head. In GTA, of course, I'm talking about, guys, come on. Her jerk. Victoria! Oh. Did you tell her to say all this to me? No, 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 I did not, know. You came up to me a few days ago saying that you wanted to shut. Yes. I turned you down so that you can bring your pretty friend here to beg for you? Hmm? That's He's not insane. begging. He's asking for what's right. Stop trying to blame him for your actions. You know what? Oh, fuck. You care about your little boy. Bloody so fucking much. bloody bloody. Hire him bloody. Yourself. Oh, no. You are fired. There are a million other waiters ready to take your place. Get out of my restaurant now. And you too. Wait, you can't fire me. Yeah, I'm definitely beating your ass, bro. You're not talking to me like that. Any type of way. You're getting curb stomped, bro. Well, I hope you're happy. Henry. Look, I told you. I didn't want to speak to him. How could you do this, Victoria? I was just trying to help you. Cry you're about it, bro. You're such a great cook, and he was suppressing your talent. Look, that's rich people talk, okay? Look. I mean. I don't have time to think about my talent. Because I don't have some inheritance waiting for me like you do. I was just trying to help. Look, See, bro, instead of crying about like a little bitch, you know, I said you gotta think about the bigger picture. You know what? I'm gonna wife you up, and I'm gonna take your money, and I'm gonna divorce you, and I'm gonna take everything from you. Bills to pay, and now I can't pay them. So no, you weren't trying to help. Mm. Maybe if you were less of a spoiled brat. Oh. Then maybe you would understand. I'm not. Yeah, so bro's going crazy on her. Date with some rich man to get millions without working. Facts. Bro, sold. I'm not gonna lie by by by, by bashing out like this. Maybe she into that shit. I don't know. But I'm taking that money from her, real talk. By any means. The same world. Oh my God! Did I just ruin Henry's life? I tried to convince the owner to take Henry back, that everything I said was my fault alone, but the man's ego was too big to even listen. What a rotten egg. I couldn't rest at all that night. I was stewing in guilt. I mean, I yeah, you kind of just fucked his life up. Henry a new interview. I even called Mr. Paxson and asked if he could invest in me so I could open my own restaurant. I was spiraling. What does that mean? Invest in the you? next day, I got Henry's address from one of the other waiters he worked with, and I drove over to see him. She looked real good. Are those his sisters? For real, for real. <laughs> that is not a game. Hey, Henry. Victoria, what are you doing here? I, um, I wanted to see you. Why did you just stand him back there like that? Ew, pretty girls worry about Henry. Oh, shit. Is that his new girlfriend? Shut it. Type shit. <laughs> Get inside the both you go. Type shit, type shit. She is my new girlfriend. She gotta play it off. Sorry so. about that. Um my sisters can be a real menace. Um can uh Yeah, menace in, in the English dictionary in twenty twenty four is insane. They passed away in a car accident a few years back. Are you um are you taking care of your family by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, Victoria, hey. Hey, 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 hey. I'm so horrible, Henry. I ruined your life. I should have never talked to your boss. Well, like I mean, that. you pulled up for a reason. So you ain't leaving until, you know what I'm saying? And I got you fired? I'm so, <laughs> so. It's all sorry. right. It's okay, Victoria. It's all right. I know you had good intentions. 
You're right. I am spoiled. I didn't know your situation, and... and Just a tad bit spoiled, fired. nothing crazy. It's because I always want the easy way out. Yeah, well, if I had options, I would take the easy way out, too. But I don't think that that makes you a bad person. It's just, um, I'm unlucky. It's not fair. You're so talented. You have so much on your shoulders. Bro, it looks like a character from Rick and Morty. I don't know why. And now you don't have a job. It's all right. All right, look, I, I, I applied to a few of the restaurants. I mean, I'm pretty sure someone is going to need a waiter. But Henry is so much more than that. He's smart, talented. Motivated. Bro, just propose to me, man. Friend. Might as well, bro. You gassed me out too crazy. And hey, you put a friend at the end Think, of that? Victoria. Insane. Think. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I don't do friends. I have a plan for both of us to get what we want. Why? I mean, why do you want to help me out so bad? Because you're my friend. And I've relied on you. I don't even know you like that, bro. I can't leave you like this. I have a plan for us. For me to get my inheritance and not have to marry some rich stranger. And for you to be financially stable. You're doing a lot of talking and not enough explaining. Just being real. And to be a chef. Alright, well, how? Henry Collier. Will you marry me? What? Maybe yeah, we're not getting a divorce. You're stuck now. Time to put my plan into action. That's it insane. took a lot of convincing, but Henry agreed to go along with my antics one more time to try and take the easy way. Henry was going to pretend to be my millionaire boyfriend, my ideal partner from a wealthy family. Once we were married, mom would finally send me my inheritance, solving my problem. I'd give Henry a cut of it, which would solve his problems too. I even wanted to buy the restaurant from his jerk of a boss so I could make Henry a chef. What about if you're I mean, Yeah, that sounds, that sounds Impossible. good and sweet and all, but now you're married to me, so... We not getting no type of divorce, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they knew she didn't even say nothing about a divorce, so shit. You look too handsome. Appreciate it. Think I look handsome? No. I was just trying to pump you up. No, you did. You called me handsome. You already said it. My stomach was jumping and I was so relieved when we finally yeah. met my parents and they were overjoyed. Oh, hello. Well, this is just so wonderful. I can't believe that Victoria already chose someone and so quickly. And so handsome. Well, Thank you. then you know, you know. And I got lucky. Oh, no, I got lucky. Beautiful. Then, um, let's get started with the wedding prep. Yeah, the mom's well, giving me NPC vibes, bro. In no time, mom got me a wedding planner who was dragging me from store to store to go shopping. I'd be annoyed, but some parts of this wedding thing were actually fun. She feels very I love spending off. time with Henry and his sisters. They made me so, so happy. I had to remind myself we weren't really becoming one family. Still, I was having too much fun planning about our it. fake wedding. I was so thrilled to wear a gorgeous wedding dress, and I was happy that Henry would be there at the end of the aisle. <laughs> Everything was actually going well. <laughs> until it all came crashing down. <laughs> There she is, the liar. Whoa, whoa, what? Yeah, that's right. This man is not rich. He lives in a dump and he's broke. Okay. Yeah, you don't think he you know hired that? I a private investigator. I didn't think it would be necessary, but you lied to me, Victoria. Henry, what's going on? Hey, girls, go. Um, what do you want? What is this? He's got kids? No. No. They're not his kids. They're his sisters. His parents are gone. Who takes care of them? Oh, so now he'll use our money? To take care of them? Absolutely not. Bruh. This marriage is not happening. Stop it, Mom. You lied to me, Victoria. And this con man, he tricked you. No, he didn't. I'm the one who came up with this whole stupid plan to lie and get married. If you just wanted the inheritance, why didn't you just pick any of the men on my list? Because I don't like those men. They don't make me happy. Are you saying he makes you happy? Yes. I'll make her happy. He's my real. friend and my companion. Man, she and keeps saying my friend, bro. Like, I'm not your friend, dog. I'm not. I am not your fucking friend. Stop calling me your friend. Real talk. He listens to me and makes me laugh. And he's hardworking. 
and honest. And I love spending time with him and his family. All right. Why is that not enough for you? We have money. Why does he need to be rich, too? Because I don't want my daughter with a man who can't take care of her. He's fooling you. No, then why give not. her your inheritance, then? I like Henry. He's been there for me. And that's why there I There you go with him. that friend word, bro. Are you serious? Yeah. These past few days planning the wedding, I haven't been nervous at all. I've been so happy to be around you. I don't want it to end. Like, Shadi, I don't even know you like that, bro. What's your middle I name? the same exact way. Nah, -uh. I'm not letting this Bruh. happen. If you continue to date this man, I'm never sending you the inheritance. Fine. Do I am exhausted of taking the easy way. Hey, yeah, but wait. Are you sure about this? Yeah. Fuck no. I need that money. I want to be with you. We'll find a way to work our way up from the bottom. We're both talented. We'll find a way to make money. I bet you're and talented. Life free of lies. I'm so happy you said that. I want to be with you too, Victoria. Man. All right, bro. Come on. Let us go. Get it over with, dog. Uh... Oh, so we faking kisses now, Darman? That's what we're doing? I'm gonna kissing with her mom, bro. We're not faking it. Somehow, impossibly, our luck took a turn. Mr. Paxton called and I told him about investing in a restaurant, and he loved the idea. With his help, Henry and I took over the restaurant where he worked for years. He finally put on a chef's hat. Where the hat. fuck is this Mr. And Paxton guy at? The fuck? It was unbelievable. Mom was still furious at us, but that didn't last when she Who actually fuck? saw Henry and I together. Once our restaurant started thriving and making money, once we moved in together and built a happy home, my mom's heart finally thawed. She even liked his little sisters more than she'd admit. Yeah, her mom and can get day, it. And one day, my mom showed her support by offering me my grandmother's inheritance so um really i know you don't need this as much as you needed it back then but this belongs to you Are how you much sure how much you get bro i didn't follow your conditions no you did better you found a good hard-working man who stands by your side and you made yourself happy and i'm proud of you both and I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time. Yeah, let me get a turn. I really hope you'll forgive my ignorance. Thank you for accepting me. Your happiness is the best gift that you could give us. I love you, Mom. Oh, we love you. Oh, I love you, kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay! Oh, ooh, okay. love you, kids. <laughs> All right, guys. That's enough. <laughs> That's going to the video there, man. If y'all enjoyed it, bro, leave a like, share with a friend, subscribe. Lesson of the day. Find your true love. I don't fucking know.